fatto fuori. I'm asking you about a murder. Someone showed him to me. But you know, I'll bet somebody could take some dye or something and color one to make it look like the other. I mean, you could fix it up so that no one would know the difference. That would be murder, wouldn't it, Lieutenant? Yes, yes. Yes, it certainly would, sure. Uh, because that would explain why Miss Martin was so bothered after the operation, and it would explain why she wanted to see the chemist at the company that made the suture. That's murder. That certainly is, no question about it. What's so funny? <laughs> Excuse me, Lieutenant. I had to play it as though you were serious. <laughs> You don't really believe all those foolish things you say, do you? <laughs> I believe you killed Sharon Martin, and I believe you're trying to kill Dr. Heidemann. Lieutenant Columbo, you're remarkable. You have intelligence, you have perception, you have great tenacity. You've got everything except proof. I want you to take good care of Dr. Heidemann, because if he dies, we're going to have to have an autopsy, aren't we? I mean, we're going to have to know whether a heart attack killed him or whether it was just dissolving suture. Now, Mr. Chalard! Wait! Columbo! Colombo, forget it. You have just joined the Sawarian Task Force. Listen to me. I had a call from the legation. Robbery and murder. Every week. Murder? How is she? They won't tell me a thing. What do you care? What's that supposed to mean? Have that magazine. You don't care whether she lives or dies. As a matter of fact, she's drinking because of you, because she thinks you're responsible for the death of her husband. You want to know something? So do I. I warned you in my office. Don't you mind? I checked your alibi for the time before you got to the house. It doesn't wash. First of all, I don't need an alibi. And secondly, I was at Parker Motors. You said they were closed when you got there. The fact is, they've been open every night until 9 o'clock for the past month. And then I they? That's right. Got a match? Your health program didn't last very long, did it? Long enough. You know something, Colombo? You're a devious man. That's what they tell me. I'm gonna tell you something. What I meant to say was that I drove out to Parker Motors, but when I got there, Parker's car was gone, so I assumed that he left for the day. And since my original statement to you was verbal, you must have misunderstood what I said. Now, if you claim otherwise, I'm gonna deny it. Is that clear? That's very clear. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you suspect. I don't care what visions you see when you look at your cigar ashes, because I'm innocent. I have an alibi for the time Gene Stafford died. Now, you can huff and puff on that rotten cigar until next July, and you'll never prove otherwise. I wouldn't count on that. Colombo, if you are smart, I won't be seeing you again. Voglio sapere che è successo. Niente bugie. No, dopo un po' sono andato giù in cantina e a, a, a prendere una bottiglia di Margot. E là dove hai nascosto il veleno. Tenente, no. Mio zio aveva già aperto la bottiglia di vino, poi ha, ha preso il vassoio no? e, e l'ha portato qua, al lavandino. Ma era ancora molto arrabbiato e, e ha cominciato a sbattere le cassette, no? Così. Perché? Perché? Ma è fatto fuori. No, Teresa. Basta con le bugie. Ma io lo amavo. Assassino! No, no. Assassino. Non è vero. Io non ho fatto proprio niente, no? Non ho fatto... Calm. Calm. Ti credo. Bene, grazie.
That's Mrs. Donner's shoe. We found it on the balcony. She took it off before she jumped. This is Mrs. Donner's scarf. It was shoved in the shoe. In the scarf, we found her watch and her earrings. She also took off her clothes before she jumped. We found them piled up in a nice, neat pile. What are these? They're drugs. What are they called? Amabarbital and xylothin. Do you know where we found them? I have no idea. The coroner found them in Mrs. Donner's body. This is a statement from a medical examiner. Medical examiner says that these drugs can be effectively used to break down somebody's will. <coughs> They're similar to truth serum. To your knowledge, did Dr. Collier ever prescribe these drugs for Mrs. Donner? I can't give you that kind of information, Lieutenant. You're just gonna have to ask Dr. Collier. You know, I'm asking you. I'm asking you about a murder. Just one more thing.